Here are 10 APIs that you can use for your next AI projects. I'm gonna go from the simplest one to the most crazy one. Cut vendors, let's go. Random stuff API, like its name says, is basically just an API that can do random stuff. If you need a joke, it gets you covered. If you want to manipulate images or chat with an AI, anything random that you can imagine, it can do that. So if you want to do a bunch of small random things, you have it through this API. It's free to use and you can access it through the Rapid API. If you want to go more heavily into AI though, I recommend you check the OpenAI API. This is the most popular API when it comes to AI models. If you want to just generate text, things like just chatting or poetry or even code, you can use the GPT-4 models. If you want to generate images, anime, logo, designs, you can use the Dolly API. I actually use both of those models, like both of those APIs, GPT-4 and Dolly, to create a custom children book AI generator. It's an app that generates children books based on like a prompt of the user. But that's not all. OpenAI also has the Whisper API, which turns audio into text. And one of the students at my bootcamp actually used it to create an app that turns lectures, like audio lectures at university, into structured notes that you can use to study for exams, rehearse, like review the, the material of the course. When it comes to costs, from my personal experience and from the students that I've had, you don't really need to worry about it. If when it's just you work on personal projects, it's gonna cost you like one or two dollars to build your project. If you scale it though, if like you share it online and a few hundred people start using it, then yeah, it's gonna increase to maybe two, three, five, like maximum ten dollars. But still, from my personal experience, I got apps that a few hundred people tried it, like 500, 600 people, and I had to pay like maximum five to ten dollars. Now, if you want a model that is faster and more performant for text generation specifically, there is a competitor to OpenAI called Entropic, and they have released a model called Cloud3. On a lot of benchmarks, actually, Cloud3 outperformed GPT-4, which is very interesting. So if your use case is like text generation or something that is creative or even code generation, Cloud3 can be very interesting for you. I used it to build a YouTube AI generator that generates like creative video ideas and like titles and scripts. And for my experience testing both models, testing OpenAI and Entropic, Entropic, like with their Cloud3 model, did a much better job there's a lot more creative like gpt tends to be kind of like more mainstream and just not as creative in general so that's something that you guys can explore and in terms of cost it's very similar to what open ai uh, does by the way could benders if you want to build some ai projects but you don't have ideas like good ideas of what you can do i've created a pack with seven unique AI projects ideas that you can build like today you can download it there's a link in the description it's completely for free now if you're in a situation where you need a model with a large context window something like you want to upload the pdf of a book and you want to be able to chat with it that's where the gemini api from google is very interesting because it has the largest context window out of all the models that we have seen you can literally upload the entire book and it's going to be able to retain all that context and memory and provide you like answer questions based on it versus other models at some point they just lose the context and they forget what was even the the thread of the conversation the other nice thing when you have a large context window like this is that it essentially for a lot of use cases it eliminates the need of using rag or embeddings that's useful now we have talked a lot about models that can do text to text generation or text to image generation but what about going from text to audio and that's where 11 labs come in you're just gonna give it a few seconds of anyone's voice and it will clone it and make it look real the api is pretty fast to use and they have a generous free tier that you can use for most of your personal projects another interesting ai that i've actually discovered a while ago like many years in the past is video ai from google cloud intelligence api so that's an api that allows you to extract metadata about videos that you give it and it can recognize up to 20,000 different objects and actions and places, which is pretty insane. This means that, for example, if you give it a movie and you want to know what is the specific moment when a bald character with a red shirt was making a joke about eating cornflakes, and you can know that because it's going to give you the exact timestamp where that metadata showed up. I discovered this API around two years ago when I was searching a way to build a library of footage that I can use as B-rolls on my videos. Because I was struggling at the time to find specific clips to illustrate some points that I wanted to say, and I thought, what if I had a library where I can just write keywords and it's going to show me all the best clips from different movies that have this situation in them. And someone actually built something very similar. There's an article that you can check out like using this API. And the nice thing too is that you can start using it for free because they give $300 of credits to use it. All right, but what if we want to go to the next level now and go from text to video? How do we do this? Well, here we're more limited, like because OpenAI Store is not available yet. Unless it is, like by the time you're watching this, maybe the model is already available. There are a few APIs that you can use for this, and the first one is called Syntasia. You can use it to generate those AI talking face videos. The only problem though is that it's quite expensive if you look at the prices. So I actually like to use another API called Replicate. It's an API aggregator that has some of the best open source models available. If you want to generate amazing art, check out their stable diffusion model. If you want to restore images, upscale images, transcribe text, even generate videos, make three stuff 
there is just an endless amount of models that are available for you. The pricing is reasonable. And the interesting thing is if you can find some of the new models before they become mainstream, before a lot of people realize they exist, you can build projects that literally go viral. One of my students used one of the replicate models to create an artistic QR code generator. So a generator that creates QR codes with an artistic layout. And that's the types of projects you can create, especially if you find those models early on before everyone else, you can build viral projects with this. We're not stopping there though. There is another API aggregator that I want to show you because it has some interesting models that I have not found on Replicate. It's called Eden AI. You can use it to do things like automatically parsing unstructured documents from a structured text. So things like PDFs that you have scanned that you want to parse, resumes, invoices. You can then translate those documents. You can also remove backgrounds from pictures, recognize faces, and do a bunch of other use cases. But now, what if I told you there is actually another API that is even more impressive than this? That has all the models that we discussed so far in this video and more. That's called Hugging Face. This is the place where you can find the wildest things. You want a model that animates pictures? No problem. You want to take your face and put it on a bunch of different characters? You got it. And of course, all the regular models like text to text, text to images, text to audio, you have all of those. And what I like is that you also have data sets that you can use to fine tune and train those models. Hugging face is basically the GitHub of AI models. Codebenders, thank you for watching. If you already knew most or all of those APIs, respect. But now it's time to use them to build cool projects. Once you do, tag me on Twitter, send me an email. I want to start featuring your projects on the channel. And if you don't know what to build, if you don't have any ideas, I recommend you check out this video. Next is going to inspire you.